Hi, so I'm back in the UK and I'm at this retreat and it's already triggering me beyond belief. I mean, just having the structure and the timings and having to show up at a certain time. Oh my God. So I snuck away to film this video. Something I've noticed from being here is that I really value playfulness and levity while doing the healing work because often I have associated this perpetual self-improvement journey to be so cyclical, like it's chasing my own tail and it gets me feeling so heavy. And my aim in Sex Homework Society is to bring back that eroticism and the inner child. I want us to stop feeling like we have to be so hyper-focused on how we look and how we sound and how we come across and for sex to feel easy again, for it to feel effortless and for us to not be caught up in those thoughts of like, is he enjoying himself? Is he bored right now? Do I like this? Wait, I'm stuck in my head. Oh my God, I didn't do the laundry. Or like, does she feel enough pleasure? Did I do enough? We can get to that space of ease. So firstly, I teach people to really listen to their body and not their conditioning, right? So first we start by noticing what our conditioning is or the not enoughness and all of those messages that we've absorbed and create a new paradigm for how we live our sex life which is to have all the permission to ask what we want without feeling this fear of disconnection. There's something really powerful about community journey. There's just 10 of you. And through sharing all these diverse perspectives, through sharing all of our stories and parts of us that we've kept hidden for so long, there's this reclamation and there's permission to be like, wow, I didn't know that I could do it all of these ways that I wanted to for so long. I thought I had to fit into this box of this one size fits all version of sex. And so I'm here to help you understand how to really claim your full erotic self, all of that pleasure, and feel safe in your body again so that you can return to these, this delicious thing rather than being living up here potentially. And even if you do come back up to the head, how do you come back to the body again and again and again? By the end of it, not only are you not feeling broken, you're actually feeling fucking sexy and desirable and you're embracing the unsexy parts of yourself. Because we can't always be the perfect, amazing, oh yeah, I feel so good. We're all so sad or anxious or smelly or whatever those things are. I want you to be able to welcome you as you are, to live a life fully unashamed. And if this speaks to you, I'll see you at the Sex Homework Society in three days.